It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today we're going to be uh, speaking about anxiety. And anxiety is a topic that everyone goes through. And I know I still go through it. You know, it's anxiety is, is highly normal for everyone. So in this video, I'm going to speak about uh, a method that, that I use to, to handle uh, anxiety. So what has helped me along my journey is uh, seeing an anxiety and joyful eagerness as two sides of the same coin you know anxiety and joyful eagerness you know can be anxiety can be transmuted into joy, joyful eagerness if you know how to place your perspective how to switch your perspective and so when you're switching your perspective you want to think about the the positive thing that is happening and so I'm gonna talk about a personal experience and so uh, I usually uh, sometimes I get a anxiety when I visit restaurants you know because I'm not used I'm not usually used to uh, visiting a lot of restaurants and going to restaurants is something new to me it was something new to me since uh, you know two years ago so that was something very new to me and usually when I experience new things I get you know the anxiety starts coming up for example when I was taking the the New York subway uh, two years ago like my first time just taking the train uh, it was very uh, mind-bottling it was very scary and creepy I was thinking I'm gonna miss my stop or get lost or so but it was all good for the experience and so back to the the restaurant anxiety so I'd usually overthink about little things. What if I pronounce this word wrong? Or what if I give the wrong amount to the cashier? Just little things that can just be corrected or that weren't really that big of a deal. So what has helped me along my path of, you know, going to this restaurant was to focus on a joyful aspect, a positive aspect as to what was going to happen. And so instead of focusing on, you know, what if I say the wrong thing? I instead focus on, you know, enjoying this awesome meal that's going to be provided to me. I purposely hype it up and get exciting. I charge up my, my happiness energies and, you know, I just think about it. I become very eager about how good it's going to taste and how much more fuller I'm going to become. And just for this scenario, we're going to be doing, you know, three more examples. And so let's say you had a, a, uh, a presentation and you were focusing on saying the wrong thing. Uh, I would then focus on saying a, uh, you know, if I'm really, if I'm really passionate about the presentation, I'd focus about how, how passionate I am about how, you know, everyone is going to learn from the information that I'm going to be providing. Or if I had a deadline due and I was anxious about the the deadline, I would uh, be eager. I would switch the, anx the anxiety to joyful eagerness. I'd be eager to and uh, to uh, to complete the project. And I'll tell myself that this is going to be the, the best project ever. Uh, everyone is going to love this. I can't wait to get this done. I put forth 100 percent positivity on the other side of the on the other side of the spectrum. And so another so and so like one uh, one personal major example of mine is that I remember that I I left my friends I I left early and I even though I wanted to connect more I left early and my gut feeling was telling me to stay and I left early to do commission work although my intention on that day was to bond I I just uh, left early so this can be perceived as a negative situation on my part however the positive uh positive aspect of it that I took from it is that I became more aware of understanding myself so that I can make better decisions and hence that inspired the video that I that I created that's gonna be coming up soon or maybe I made it you know a week ago but that will that inspired the video that I made on how to make decisions because although me leaving my friends or so is, is a trivial decision may not be that much of a big deal to others. I can imagine myself in a major life situation or something regarding my career or, you know, a future li lifelong partner or something. I come back and I'm thankful that, you know, something not as life life threatening or life changing happened during that decision making pro progress. And now that I've, you know, 
felt that that uh, I, I got to understand myself better then I'm more I'm more my power level of decision making is more greater because of that experience and because I've learned a, a lot about myself so that's a positive aspect you can abstract from the situation everything has a positive and negative aspect to it however it's up to us to you know abstract and look at a different perspective when something negative happens how can that perspective help us what does that inspire in us and breakups for example are one of the worst things people can go through however during a breakup we learn so much about ourselves we, we grow as people and if the breakup didn't happen, we wouldn't know so much about our personality, ourselves. So much growth came from that pain. So in turn, it can be a blessing in disguise. And so when this method doesn't work for me, I like to use a different method that was inspired by someone. Uh, it was called, it, it, the method is called the, uh, the butterfly mind technique. And so let's say you just came from a, a, a very heated argument from family or, or friends or, you know, something very negative happened to you and, you and you're spiraling on a very negative momentum and so with the, the with the butterfly mind technique so first as, as you're spiraling in a negative momentum what you want to do first is take just take uh, three three or, or more deep breaths like keep taking deep breaths until you can calm yourself deep from the base of your spine and relax and then once you're you're you've neutralized the, the negative momentum Keyword neutralize, not get got rid of, but neutralize the ne negative momentum. Once you're done breathing and you find yourself in a relaxing state, that's when you want to use the butterfly mind technique to redirect your focus. And so the butterfly mind technique is like you know, you, you it's like uh, you give appreciation to the things that you have, you know, and you and you're fluttering like a butterfly, how it moves, like it flutters quickly and elegantly. And so quickly, you want to just be appreciative of the, the things that you have. So, oh, this is an awesome shirt I have. Oh, I like this pants. It's so it's so comfortable. Oh, I like big hands because, you know, people like big hands. And, you know, I, I just like big hands. You know, just just show appreciation for, you know, you know, the things that you that you have in your current surroundings in the, in the present moment. Or, you know, I like this poster. It's so cool. You know, if you have any inspiring posters on your wall of, you know, your favorite television shows, you know, let's let's take, for example, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho. Let's say if you have a Yu Yu Hakusho poster, uh, you could, you know, look at that and, okay, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is so awesome. This was such an awesome thing. Man, I used to love this when I was a kid. Uh, so, so and so was my favorite character. You know, you want to you want to keep the, the butterfly momentum going and you also want to keep switching different topics. You want to have multiple things that you're, you know, appreciative of once your the negative momentum stops. So you can show appreciation for your friends, the games that you have, you know, just anything that you can find in your in your present moment to be appreciative of. Maybe there's a beautiful surrounding that you see in your living in, or in your living environment or the, or the city. And this is where your your creativity comes in. And so this is what I do to find excitement in 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 ancient and you know anxiety moments and this isn't a act of lying to yourself or or running away from responsibilities or anything like that this is a logical way to look at a different side of the coin of as to what's going on because everything is innately neutral and it's up to us to give the definition of positive and negative where are where's our focus going towards and if someone is disrespecting you or, or you have someone in your life constantly asking you for favors, just, you know, stand up for yourself, you know, move away, you know, talk in a very serious tone. At the same time, you can, for the people that ask for, you, for your favors, just say no. And if they have an issue with that, then, you know, they're not really your friends because they're just using you for favors. And I know everyone is different when it comes to handling their anxiety. And so this is what I use personally, a switch in perspective. And so one of my favorite per perspective switching quotes is doubt is 100% trust on what you don't prefer. So focus on what you do prefer. And so that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.